Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, here's the newest edition. I'm calling it the Baby Blue. It's the Victron Energy Smart Solar Charge Controller, 75 volt, 15 amps. It's the second Victron product uh, to the household. We've got that 30 amp charger that we've been using for months. We love it. Anxious to hook this up. Going to make a little standalone system in the workshop here. Tie it into that Ampere time battery and that reliable pure sine wave inverter to uh, run some power out here in the workshop. I think this will be just perfect. So you can see the size of this thing. It's got some pretty good weight to it. You got your battery connections, PV connections, and a DC load if you wanted to run a DC load off of it there. There's the connections underneath. Little 20 amp fuse. Comes with this uh, very informative uh, booklet in many, many different languages. 14 pages per language. Whichever language you need, it's in there pretty much, I would think. So, we're going to fire this baby up, see what it looks like. So I've already got the uh, Victron Energy app installed on my devices, so I should be able to monitor this new standalone system uh, via tablet, um, PC, or your phone, whichever you're using. And pretty excited about this. I've been looking at the Victron for a long time, decided to go ahead with this new edition, give it a try, see how we like it. And the first thing I'm going to do to hook that up is cut some of this really nice Temco 10 gauge photovoltaic wire made specifically for this application. And this is really a high quality wire. As you can see right there, the real copper inside there. It's got a heavy duty covering. Direct burial if you want it to be that, they claim. So anyway, this is going to be uh, in the workshop, so it's not going to be exposed to the elements. But anyway, a real nice wire that we're going to use to hook up that. I'm going to go ahead and put some lugs on there right, in it, right away, and we'll get her hooked up. Been crimping my own lugs lately uh, so I can custom size all my wire and cut it to fit. Been enjoying that quite a bit. So I've got all the tools to make that happen. So now I'm going to go out and shrink wrap these things and we'll get them connected. And the heat shrink is on. Makes for a very nice clean installation. So glad that I'm doing that on my own instead of ordering uh, cables that are already done. This way you know they're done right before you seal them up. Really enjoying that. Okay, just for the app demonstration, we've got this hooked up to the Ampere Time. Uh, that's the 100 amp hour uh, lithium battery and the 1500 watt reliable inverter. And the first thing, I, when I plugged it in and went to the app, the, the first thing is to update the app. So I'm going to do that real quick. So the uh, app update loaded right up and now I'm ready. I can look and see what uh, how this thing's reading on the Bluetooth. That blue light you see flashing on the Victron, that's uh, the bulk mode. Uh, of course I don't have any solar coming in right now. I soon will, but for today's purposes I'm just going to run through the app. So the app uh, connects to the devices <clears throat> extremely quick. The only thing, there's not a lot to show on it right now, of course. There's no solar coming in. Uh, but it reads the battery voltage at 13.34. I verified that with the multimeter, and that is uh, spot on. And I'm going to go ahead and just run a very small load 
off that inverter with since I've got everything hooked together I'll just put a real uh, low wattage light bulb that I have handy back here in the workshop and we'll see if it's uh, sensitive enough on the app to pick that up okay so it shows no current coming off of it I'll turn on the inverter and we'll give it a second to read that Voltage dropped to 13.32, so it is uh, picking that up, and then it's not really registering enough to show anything. I'm going to flip the light on, and the light is such a low draw. It's only about uh, 9 or 10 watts, like everything in this house, so it's not showing up, other than you can see that the, it is a little draw on the battery. This is nice to have. Uh, I'm going to see how far this app works, and then I'm going to put a little higher load on it to see if we can see the app really pick up that draw. Okay, you might want to plug your ears a little second for this one. I'm going to run just a little handheld uh, coffee grinder off to the side and see if that'll draw enough to uh, register on this app. So let's see what it does here. Well, as you can see, the the battery voltage dropped a little bit. I thought maybe it would show what was being pulled off of the battery, but I'm not seeing that at the moment. I'll have to look into this further about uh, this battery current selection here. Um, and then down here, this is for, uh, it'll show the draw if you hook up to that. Uh, load draw side which is right there if you wanted to pull some a DC line off of there uh, that's what that particular reading is for right there so I'll look further into this and see if when I'm running it uh, further down the road if this starts to show a usage it might be because I just didn't have enough of a draw on it so I will be able to remedy that at some point I did walk this around outside to see what the range was on the Bluetooth. I got to about 45 feet and it wouldn't connect. I stayed within uh, 30 feet of the charger, uh, charge controller, and it uh, connected every time. So that's perfect for working around the shop here, 30 foot connection. I can just uh, check onto a device, see what the status is of the sun coming in, battery, etc. So anyway, this is just a sneak peek because this is all going to be a, a, a standalone system all of its own. It's going to use this inverter, the ampere time, and that uh, Victron charge controller, the 75 volt 15 amp. And then uh, I'm just waiting on a couple of uh, uh, breakers and fuses to tie into this. And then it's just going to be a mini standalone system for the uh, workshop here. And I have always wanted to see what a Victron was like. I think I'm going to like this. I'll definitely shoot some more videos in the future. Show you guys how this is working. The program default I already like right off the bat. And I'll go with that. And that takes the lithium up to 14.4. And with a float of 13.8. So that's kind of standard. That's pretty much what I'm running on my other systems. And, yeah, I just couldn't wait till it was all tied up to show you guys. Got the baby blue here. Looking forward to showing you how that works for this once I get her all finalized. Ought to do that here pretty quick. All right, everybody. Hope you're having a good day. Aloha.